let's run down a few things. And I think as uh, as Matt Duss said, we can do all these things at the same time. There's a current situation. There's a more recent situation. But look, you got to stay on target with what people said back in 2002, 2003, when they were selling, marketing, manipulating, and whipping people into a frenzy for this invasion. And, you know, and people would go out, people like Janine Garofalo, and we've talked about it, and she would be bullied and she would be mocked and she would be harassed for being fundamentally right about everything in terms of what this invasion would lead to and all of the different ways that Iraqis pay for this invasion, all the different ways we pay for this invasion, all the different ways uh, that the region pays for this investigation. And I want to start by just noting that... Judith Miller is not only not hiding under a rock, and I mean a rock, obviously, (laughs) although maybe she should be hiding in Iraq. I think that would be. That might be karmically fitting. Yes. This person who fed intelligence lies from a bank fraudster named Ahmed Chalabi who we were going to install. That was the first puppet regime we were going to install in Iraq. The Iraqi National Congress was his outfit, and he would sit with Judy Miller, and he would say, Saddam Hussein has weapons programs that rival the most sophisticated chemical and nuclear and everything weapons in the world, and he'll kill everybody, and he's a combination of Stalin and Hitler and Gaddafi before you liked Gaddafi, and we need to do something. And Judy Miller would say, "Uh uh uh-huh, 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 and then she would type it out, and she would publish it, and then Dick Cheney would go on Meet the Press with Tim Russert, and he'd be like, well, there's a report in the uh, the New York Times. (laughs) Even the New York Times is reporting this. And they would say that uh, Iraq is is on the verge of of building a weapon that has really not been seen since any of the James Bond films and uh, such as Dr. No. And anyways, and as ludicrous as all of this sounds, this is exactly what happens. Yes. That's it. That's the history. I remember I remember how old I was. I don't know. I was like 17 or something or 18 and being like what is going on? People are completely out of their minds. There's no critical thought here. But anyways, Judith Miller has not made an apology. She has not reassessed everything. She has gone to Fox News. But something happened this past weekend where even me, in all of my endless cynicism, I was shocked by two things about this clip we're about to play of Judith Miller from this past weekend on Fox News. Let's, let's roll this sound. Other than that, uh, Judy, did the, administ- uh, did the media buy the line from the administration and just say, okay, we're Look, off. I, I think Americans were very happy to, quote, leave Iraq after all of these years, just as they're very happy to leave Afghanistan. The real question is what happens when we leave and the circumstances under which we leave. And we're going to go on fighting about that, Eric, for a long time. I think it's interesting that the exchange we just heard between Jay Carney and John Carl, that wasn't even a part of the ABC report, that heated exchange on the situation in Iraq and, and who's responsible and how did this situation occur. It's just as if oh, wow, we woke up one morning and ISIS, our enemy, that is Al-Qaeda, aligned group, they're even too radical for Al-Qaeda, is suddenly threatening Baghdad. It's really a failure, another, yet another failure. Okay, Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, fucking K. Okay, (laughs) so first of all, that question, did the media roll over for the administration? You're asking Judy Miller? Yeah. Judy Miller didn't even need to roll over for the administration. She gave the Bush administration the ammunition they needed to make other people roll over. She was part of the rollover process as one of the worst, most malignant, most malignant, dishonest, disingenuous, fear mongering and dangerous journalists in American history. That's what she did. She wasn't rolling over. She was giving them the machine gun bullets to keep everybody else in line. Then, what about what we're doing now in terms of ISIS and terrorism? Well, guess what? Al-Qaeda in Iraq, which is the precursor to ISIS, was created 
after this thing called the invasion of Iraq in 2003, which Judith Miller's horrific reporting led to. And now she sits back on Fox with the temerity to talk about this. While she was literally a handmaiden of the architects of everything that's happening now. Their shamelessness, which I could actually sometimes have a little bit of perverse sympathy for. (laughs) And then there is myopic, sociopathic, just disgusting self-indulgence. And if you're watching that and you have any idea who Judy Miller is and you're taking that analysis in any way seriously... I don't care if you're a Republican or what your politics is or why you're watching Fox. You need a friggin' lobotomy. This wasn't the rollover press. This was the lie and ammo press. This woman was a conduit for fraudsters trying to take over Iraq who fed her fake intelligence who Dick Cheney used on Tim Russert who never asked him a question. That's it. That sentence is how Judith Miller should be remembered. She should be off volunteering at a boys and girls club. And they shouldn't even take her. And they shouldn't even take her. That's exactly right. Unbelievable.